Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this March 2024 reading. So it's going to be according to your sun or rising signs. Okay, so we're going to go by elements. We're going to use the Kali Oracle deck, the Palm Street cards, the power thoughts so i already pulled those three decks and then with the wisdom of the oracle we're going to be getting some clarity and some additional messages so you can look in the description box go to the timestamps according to your sun or rising sign i will see you there my dear water signs so cancer scorpio and pisces if it's your rising or your sun sign, those messages are for you in the month of March 2024. So let's see what we have to start with. So just looking at the cards and before reading, there's some third eye activation and there's definitely some type of shadow that is coming to the light. And I feel that there's something you're learning in March 2024 with a water sun or rising sign that is coming to the light and i feel like with this crown and you see how this this orange energy could be something that you've been wanting to create that maybe was hidden or that was stalled delayed or just put aside because something first had to be seen from deep within and filter through a different lens of the third eye, the inner sight. So it can crown you. There's some type of um, almost like achievement that I feel for you. Okay. All right. So let's read this. <laughs> okay. Gori Devi. Let me show you the card. Check your boundaries and affirm your right to express and receive both kindness and respect. Embrace your softer side and your ability to stand up for yourself. You are a unique being and you do not need to conform to stereotypes. As you relax into your authentic self, the best method to accomplish what is needed shall spontaneously arise from within. Told you this was inside. There's something that was stalled probably because of the lack of boundaries. Maybe feeling that you had to put on a mask. You see it's split. There was two parts of you that were probably, um, you know, I wouldn't say at war, even though some of you, you may have experienced inner wars. Okay, that actually if... You guys know a little bit about your chart. The degrees of 5 to 10 in Scorpio, if you have any placement there, is about resolving inner wars and inner conflicts. Okay, I just wanted, it's obviously not going to resonate with everyone, but wanted to share this little nugget of wisdom. Next, the power thoughts. I am in the process of positive change. Now, look at the correlation. This, the scissors, for me, is, is my little uh, you know, symbol for breaking karmic chain. This is karmic contract. This is stepping beyond that chain reaction. Okay, And I feel like, look at this green. There's some heart activation. The blue could be the throat and the inner side with that deeper blue. Let's read behind the card. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so in March 2024, if you have a sun or rising water placement, you definitely have worked on your boundaries. Some of you, you could be empaths. Some of you, maybe if you're new to the channel, you don't know, but I do have 
a super empath playlist that I created exactly about a year ago because I was suffering of this. <laughs> I was under this influence and I needed a solution. And those frequencies, they're about removing some of the negative conditionings that you can experience when you're hypersensitive or do not have en enough energy awareness or energy boundaries in terms of what's yours and what's not. And I needed to do energy laundry. So I created this. And if you're new to meditation or to my sound healing, by the way, you do not need to remove your thoughts. I'm actually creating those playlists for you to extract the noise, to make sure that you understand the chain that you were maybe caught in so you can finally now attract something that is different and that's positive. Okay, so some of you, if you have any questions, go check out that playlist. And if you still have questions, go and email me. I am the matrix oracle at gmail.com. Now, the palm street card, the brainstormer. Interesting. The brainstorm. Okay, I know it's a different. Uh, symbolism here but it comes here with the mercury placement mercury star okay so some of you maybe you have this in your palm under your pinky a little star don't think I have that no okay um, but what I'm feeling in accordance to this there might be something that I told you extract there might be some BS some background noise from other people's perception of yourself, reality, that is still, you know, uh, influencing you. But with this very strong Kali energy here, I really feel that you're going to really step into a phase in March 2024 where you're going to start realizing the noise that it brought into your life and being able now to harness your own power of creative thoughts and creative thinking so you can create a new let's see if there's some information behind the card a star so the star if you have this indicates a specific planet that is transmitting the essence of its qualities here okay but because we don't need to have it in our palm this is something that's coming for water, sun, or rising signs anyways, okay? So you're very much connected to Mercury in March, okay? Because there are certain things that maybe you used to think that were polluting your creative space, your magnetic field, your aura, okay? It says, it is a favorable imprint that to be considered a true star, the configuration must be made up of at least five points. Uh, right, let me see. The star can be found anywhere within the Mercury power plant. Okay, so you could have any star different points on this line now that what i find it very interesting and i'm going to check with you you guys because if i'm not mistaken the heart meridian is connected there i know i'm taking a little bit more time but bear with me okay i do a lot of these things for myself and i want you to start thinking creatively you see here think creatively you have energy running through your body Mercury is connected to the throat as far as your cosmic energy, your dragon energy becoming authentic in your version of self. Now, because of the placement in the hand, I like to look at body meridians. Oh, can you see? Mm, no, this is not showing up. Okay, like this. Okay. This is something you can find on my Telegram page, by the way. Um... It shows the hand, you know, if I look at the hand, which I feel like you're not going to see, it is run by the heart meridian, okay? So there's something in the heart, and when you go behind the back, it's the small intestine. 
The heart obviously is connected to your compassion, your forgiveness, and the small intestine to your level of joy and passion. So what I feel, okay, we're deep diving and some of you, I'm hoping you're patient with this because this is almost like a course, like 101 empath lesson. You're learning to tap into how you're receiving energy within your body, within your hands, within your energy field, your power, okay? And you're realizing that you're constantly in alignment with your higher truth. But we need to make sure that you create the space for knowing what's what you're receiving, if it's yours or if it's not, okay? One thing you have to know, if you ever feel as an empath, liver pain, that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Um, this is because the liver processes energy and detoxifies, okay? It's actual 3D purpose is detoxification. When as an empath, you're trying to take on yourself energies that don't belong to you, that are unorganic, you did not create them you will feel liver pain, okay? The more you become accustomed and attuned to those type of messages, the more you'll start to thrive as an empath. All right, this is what I wanted to start with for you, or, you know, I wanted, no, <laughs> a part of, you know, uh, my self-channeling for you. Oh, okay. wow, okay, like, look at this. Deep knowing. This is something you know. This is interesting because we're going to have, like, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a sun and a moon. I think it is. And the owl in between. We do have a lunar eclipse that's coming in March on the 25th. There is something that is being revealed. And you see, there's a lot of green, okay? So there's something in March that is being activated between the sun and the moon. By the way, those are frequencies I have available for you now. Go and check out this playlist, Awakening the Stars Within. If you are accessing the YouTube membership for music, you'll be able to work with Mercury. Okay, some of you, this is, you know, I give medicinal or vibrational medicine as a support for you to move beyond this, especially as an empath. There's no amount of words that I can give you that can make you feel this more than sound. Okay, that's, that's my way of supporting you collectively. Okay, so I, I would say here, what is going to be discovered? Can we get some details? Ooh. Yang. How to go about unleashing your potential. I find it so interesting because March is so, it's like in between zodiacally on this wheel as far as being between Pisces and Aries. So it's almost like you're going to know more about yourself having proper boundaries. And there's some, some type of, while you clean up the noise, whatever's left in, of the noise from the past that is still going on, you're going to find clarity in how to, wow, activate yourself. Look at this. I told you, I call this awakening the stars within. You're, uh, there's an awakening for you, my dear water, sun and water rising signs this is powerful and i feel like uh this and this you're supported by the cosmos what else whoa jeez i can't even shuffle new life now we do have some here in reverse, we'll talk about this. Fork in the road. Uh, 
a message in the bottle. A change in the wind. And a blessing. Blessed. Okay. All right. My dear water, sun, and rising. Okay. Seems that there is something that has been waiting for you to be ready to break the cycle of the chains, to take out the noise, the old conditioning that were maybe keeping you in a loop. You know, it's almost like in a cycle between the sun and the moon that just didn't feel like you were going anywhere or not as fast as maybe you wanted, but there was this sacred cycle that maybe at a higher level, your higher self knew, was going to offer you the guidance to make this time different type of choices. You see this arrow is going on this, uh, is that a llama? Yeah, llama's nose. I didn't know they had handlers. I don't think it's a, it's a weird llama. It's a, <laughs> it's an intuitive llama, which is interesting because uh, llama, from what I connect, just you know, from the little funny things that I've seen with llama animals, it's you know about not worrying. Okay, and it's almost like maybe you had to stop taking on other people's monkey, you know, not my monkey, not my circus. I think that's the expression. I'm sorry. This is not my first language. Sometimes I, <laughs> I think I would do still the same <laughs> type of channeling, even if it was in French. But anyways, um, there's something you're going to realize. It's almost like there's something that is going to be illuminated by your inner sight. And that's going to be probably around the lunar eclipse. And what I love with eclipse, it's that it's taking away, it's removing some type of tendency of making certain decisions, okay? Or maybe here with this message and the phone in there. Maybe some of you, you did not answer the call. And what I mean by answering the call, maybe there was something that you were being called to do, to create, to take a chance upon. And you were delayed and maybe you procrastinated or maybe you kind of like were being hard on yourself or some of you, it was just about your boundaries. Maybe there was a side of you that showed like your compassion, your kindness, and people took advantage of it. And you had to awaken, you know, your dark feminine energy. You had to awaken within your cells this energy, this powerful energy that can see through what is and what is not, at least especially for what was yours energetically or not? What was your creation? And there's going to be a change. There's going to be, a, you see here, this, there's a big cleanup. And I'm not surprised, you know, as we are going to be towards this spring season in March, the equinox, uh, you're definitely going to experience a spring cleaning. Okay, there's a lot of things that are being removed. And I feel like with the zebra, some of the, ah, like I told you with the Scorpio energy, uh, some of the inner wars that were going on in yourself. And here, within all this, that could have felt like chaos. I feel there's much more self-mastery in this month for the ones watching this and receiving this activation, and maybe some of the things that you could not yet receive as a blessing is now changing. You are seeing how to make this, like a quantum leaping, especially with the number 22. Some of you, if you've never watched the movie 222 or 222, go and check it out. 
There's something here as far as changing the outcome of certain patterns, okay? Because you are removing a lot of BS, a lot of energies, you know, from your auric field. You're taking actions this time on activating something deep within, okay? So that's what I have for you, my water elements, sun and rising signs. If you want to work as far as your uh, med medicine and your vibration, sun and moon, definitely. If you have access to the YouTube membership, add mercury. This is going to be super activating. There's something in your inner sight that has to be seen. And some of you with mercury, it's going to give you more ideas about how to express because yang is not just doing, it's expressing. Because when I make a claim, I'm actually almost like bringing my energy behind it. You know, I'm claiming this is coming my way. Remember, this was claiming a lot of prosperity, health, you know, uh, peace. And this is what March 2024 is for you. That's what I have if you need the personal guidance. And I would say for this energy, maybe dark feminine, wild feminine energy, uh, asteroids in your chart could be of the essence. There's going to be in March, um, Kali that's going to be in retrograde. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, she could be in uh, Scorpio, actually. So Kali energy could be um, important. Medusa is going to be in Cancer at the end of March. And Ishtar is going to be in Aquarius mid-month. Okay, so that's little hints for some of you that feel called to step beyond what they were used to. Okay, thank you so very much. Namaste. If you were born with a fire, sun, or rising placement, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, or rising, those messages are for you March 2024. Let's see what we have as far as Kali energy here. Okay, pretty intense, but there's the fire. So there's probably something in the month of March that is going to reveal to you certain maybe skeletons in the closet there's going to be a lunar eclipse um it came up already for water placement i'm not surprised it's going to come up for everyone you know in lunar eclipses are removing something and here it's something that was hidden from your perception so there's something about perception how you perceive yourself, this energy that is already giving me a message. Let's see what it says. Troma Nagmo. The spiritual cleansing and protective means necessary to overcome any obstacle shall be granted to you. You can trust in what is happening in your life, especially the things that are breaking apart or arising anew. Any pain that you might be experiencing now is so much less than the pain that would have taken root if certain circumstances were allowed to continue. That's so interesting, you guys. I literally had to interrupt between the water and the fire to go and cleanse my entire room, place, house. And I started burning some black opium incense, which I love to burn for third eye activation to something that's going to be illuminated through the process of cleansing your space. I'm feeling for you already as a message to go and check out my auric wealth and health and wealth playlist, your auric health and wealth. Okay, let's see what else. The point of power is always in the present moment. This is interesting. To be between two trees here. I don't know if some of you, that it's not gonna be for everyone, but it feels like there's some decision there is some decision 
maybe about continuing with an old pattern and an old cycle and making a decision through the process of cleansing to step in a different, almost like, I was going to say time zone. I don't know if some of you it's moving that is involved in March. Okay, maybe. Okay. If that's you, please let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm not surprised because we're finishing in March a zodiac wheel and we're starting a new one. So there's something here that is calling you to be present in that moment in March, to be um, fully involved in the present so you can harness more energy. I actually watched a reel about this. It was in French, so I did not repost it. <laughs> um, but it was saying exactly something that I share with someone I work with um, that was asking me, like, how do you have so much energy, Audrey? And it was like, I am fully invested in what I do every time I do it. If I'm not going to be fully invested, I know I'm not going to have a good time. If I don't have a good time, then I'm, I don't like doing what I'm doing. And even if it's something that I like, I have to make sure that I'm fully involved in that present moment so I can harness the most power. It's because I want that. I want every moment to have this fullness, this richness. And I feel that this is something you need to hear with a fire rising or sun placement. Joy. Your joy is what helps you navigate. Navigation skill is important. Follow your bliss. Let's read what's behind. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in change. I, I am in change? <laughs> I am in charge. Okay, so I am changing. This is what I feel. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. This is so interesting how your higher self just hijacks <laughs> your mouth okay so you're changing in march there's definitely a change i'm not surprised again i told you this is a critical zodiac moment where we're shifting wheels okay we're going for a new cycle but it's all it, it's in your power you gotta take charge and that means that you want to make sure and this is probably why also we have this spiritual rituals uh, of cleansing for spring, and you know, spring cleaning. It's something we say. Now, look at this. Interesting in the palm street card. The sensitive one with the moon placement. Okay, maybe some of you have a cross or a star. Oh my God, I got plenty here. Yikes. <laughs> I got plenty on my moon. Not surprised. Uh, let's see what it says. An engraved X gives an evidence of a gift of productive interaction with a larger public arena. Characteristics include the ability to connect with people and to be seen as someone with whom people wish to reciprocate. This X can be found anywhere on the moon power plant. This part of your palm. A respectively a respectably sized X is usually manifest, but it is not uncommon to observe several miniature specimens scattered around the plant instead. The moon X confers a deep receptivity to subtle atmospheres, vibrations, moods, and people. So some of you, it's something you have to know if you are into palmistry. Now, this is a message for everyone with fire placement, sun or rising as an influence, okay? It says, perceptive, intuitive about people, desires to nurture and care for others, requires and provides inner support, has a strong need to feel wanted. Okay. Now, when I said strong need to feel wanted, I feel that this is here, some type of um, end, with certain old cycles where 
others were so involved in your field of creation maybe some of you in your aura some of you as an empath you just didn't find any more space for knowing what was yours and what was not there's an ending here that needs to happen and this is something that is activated by the moon and especially so you're going to have that lunar eclipse on the 25th of march that's so interesting. It's going to be in Libra. Libra is seventh house. It's about relationships. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Some of you here, it shows with a fire sun or rising sign, there's definitely some shifts in your relationships. Attraction and current. Okay, so what you're going to be attracting in March and um what you've been attracting thus far because in that moment you're going to see you're going to make different decisions based on this okay Ooh, chaos and conflicts 33 that card always reminds me of the 33 vertebrae christ consciousness and it's like removing some of the duality because of the zebra. But it's showing now the zebra transforming almost like in a giraffe pattern. Which the giraffe is able to see from a higher perspective. There is something that is being stripped away. Even I would say at a cellular level. Some of you, if you have access to my YouTube membership, go and work, work out. I was going to say. Okay, some of you, you need to go to the gym, <laughs> okay? But I would say, uh, yeah, if you have access to the 33 vertebrae, go and work out with this. Maybe that can give you some insight about what is moving, running through your vertebrae. As you work out, you can feel more what's yours because you're anchored in your body. You'll be able to remove some of those things. And you also have the moon frequency, Okay, the moon frequency is accessible for everyone. Definitely feel like that's going to be a big support here for understanding how to cleanse. All right. Serendipity. Number 18 in the zodiac this is this is connected to divine justice. This came reverse, so it means like underneath those dynamics with others that may have it may have taken you to a different path and this this season like march 2024 for my dear fire placement here sun or rising you're being called to really see what was yours and not this is what's fair okay how can we stay in balance well you're supposed to take into accountability what's your creation what's yours not what's not and that means in this process, you're going to finally open up gateways. I feel some of you, you there's something, there's a lucky luck that's coming up. Luck about what? Treasure Island, number nine. Some of you, it's, it's something you've been wanting for a long time. It's been long desired. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so some of you back up. It could be something from childhood. Maybe some of you, it's a love relationship. Because number nine in the zodiac cor corresponds to unconditional love. It's funny here. You guys, I wear glasses and I really don't need it for clothes. And I was wearing them. I just took them off while I'm channeling this. It's almost like... You know, something with the sight, something, some, hmm. some of you, it feels like a soulmate connection that could be coming through March because you're clearing the path of the old patterns of chaos. With sensitivity, you were sensitive to other people's influence, the atmosphere, this needs to become your gift. This needs to become your superpower. And again, that auric health and wealth, there's a lot of um, play, playlists and, and frequencies that can help you figure out in your aura what's yours and what's not. Oh, okay. Wow. Orphaned. 
Interesting. It came in the serendipity. Some of you, there might have been this feeling of you being different. Okay? I feel like some of you, if you don't know this, okay? Especially with what I channeled before. You could have certain retrogrades in your chart. Okay? Uh, this one reminds me most of Pluto retrograde. Okay? When I tap into this... Pluto retrograde and maybe a Mercury retrograde, but it seems like it's like you're feeling outcast of, and that's why there's like a, a need to be connected to others. So pay attention if you have certain retrogrades, I would say in particular Pluto and Mercury, and if you have 11th house placements, this is, and, and maybe 5th house as well. Because it's in relationship to your level of joy and how you connect with others through your life force, okay? And I would say there might be something here to purge. If you have a moon or a sun placement, then go and listen to those frequencies. If some of you have access to the YouTube membership, work with the planets that could be in those placements, okay? This is going to help you retrieve Something may be lost. Wow. You know what? With this all that glitters and this treasure island, it's your worth. Not being able to see your worth through the chaos of being so sensitive to other people's field and problems that you did not have time. But this is ending in March. But it is in your hands. This is in your hands. Like how you're going to navigate from one cycle to the other. Look at this. Unfinished symphony. Okay. This is like my karmic astrology card, especially with the number 10. This is about second chances. You have a second chance here to remove some of those patterns where you feel felt secluded. No matter how many people are around you for some of you. Because there's, there's an imbalance, an imbalance, and it's not so much it's other people's fault or your fault, it's actually not, it's an awareness that you need to gain. And some of you, it's probably something that you came to master, emotional mastery, uh, energy work awareness. Some of you, that's because you're supposed to be a healer. I would say even go and check out if you have a chi what's your Chiron placement. I do have a Chiron astrology, uh, karmic astrology playlist. Go and listen to your natal placement of Chiron. Yeah. In March, my dear fire sun and rising signs, you're going to expand. You're going to expand from the process of cleansing. And the more you cleanse, the clearer you will see where within. And you will remove some of the patterns that may also may have um, kept you from enjoying fully the present moment. Because if you're not able to be present, maybe because there were some worries about the past, some hypervigilance to protect you from a potential danger, from a potential repetition of patterns like this. And again, no judgment here. I am speaking and sharing from personal experience. I don't have, you know, a sun or rising fire, um, but I do have a lot of fire placements. Okay, that's what I have for you, my dear fire sun and fire rising for March 2024. The power is in your hands, but especially the gold is within. And you're going to find this through activating this higher awareness of your own field, of making different choices this month, of also looking at your boundaries looking at what needs to be cleansed, removing yourself from chaos, removing yourself from drama, and, you know, finishing. You know, it's like, it's, it's almost like you don't need to keep on playing that music. 
you can just realize that the goal within was always there. You are the gold. All right. If you need personal guidance, I would say for this one, knowing your personal chart, your natal chart would be important. Okay. That's what I have for you. You can look in the details below. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you are an earth sun or rising sign, those messages are for you for March 2024. So Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, sun or rising sign, let's see what we have. All right. So first Cali messages, beautiful baby being held. I feel like this is an energy of being held through March through this cycle, maybe getting a level of comfort, of support that you've never experienced. It feels that spirit is also there for you. Not just physically, because there's a whole, those are holding hands. And something dormant seems to awaken through March. Let's see what it says behind. Devi Makali, no matter what you have done, no matter how many mistakes you have made, Kali is here for you, always. Yours is the safety and sanctuary of her divine love. She is your soft place to fall and your kindest and most enthusiastic advocate. Let her shift your experience from endless tasks and ever greater expectations into sweet relief and comforting connection. Wow, I love this. So feeling supported. Earth placements, you know, sun or rising. It feels so good. Feels so soothing in March. Let's see what we have. My life is a mirror. Okay, and this is interesting because it feels like as you start giving yourself support, whatever that means for you in your life, okay, you taking those steps is actually almost a manifestation of everything else. It's an energy manifestation. That means you'll start seeing people supporting you. Uh, the cosmos, the synchronicity supporting you, everything is going to start mirror those little things that you're doing in March that are supportive of you and your experience, of you experiencing something sweeter than what you've experienced thus far. Let's read behind the card. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. Especially look at, it feels like a family. It feels like maybe some of you, there's the support of family or there's some type of reunion. It doesn't have to be because it's not just blood family. It's, it's feeling a sense of unity. So in March 2024, if you have Earth, Sun, or Rising placements, okay, you're feeling the support of meeting people or creating events and synchronistic stick moments in life that are supportive of your growth, for you to change. Um, I'm going to say it's not for everyone, but the house, when I say change, I saw the house. Um, it, it could be some of you that are moving, but it could be also, um, you know, the house is also your body, is your temple, is how you treat yourself. So some of you could be just um, related to your health. Let's see the palm street card. Saturn, the contentious one. So Saturn placement here under the middle finger, I believe. Let's see. Look at look to see if there is this area of your palm that is upraised. 
Okay, this pillow-like formation means this energy of the planet is within you. This is about commitment, duties, obligation, responsibility. So there's something here as far as you taking charge, especially with Saturn. When I do this, this happens. When I support myself, other people support me. When I give myself this, you know, when I give myself the actions that give me greater health, then I attract health, healthy relationships, healthy dynamics, healthy uh, point of vibrational attraction in all aspects of life. Self-disciplined and focused, structured and industrious, diligent and full of effort and responsible. There's something in March, my dear Earth placements, that is showing how you are such a powerful manifester when you start going about life, following actions, ideas that make you feel supported, that make you feel held, that make you feel spiritually connected. Because remember, I said this is something spiritual also that's happening. So maybe some of you, it's joining a community, doing things as in a group setting, okay? All right, let's see what we have next. Okay. Round and round. Interesting. Something about cycles. I feel like this is more here. Round and round. Repetition, discipline. Some of you making sure that you are repeatedly doing the things that make you feel supported in March is so precious. It's so precious. With the number 25, this is an indication of how the rituals that you invite in March are going to start creating more energy, more energy towards manifesting things that are in alignment with the sweetness of life, the support in life, the soul family, okay? Come to the edge. Some of you may be you had to experience coming to the edge of a certain pattern. Maybe also it's inviting you to do things that are not comfortable. Maybe some of you, that's why, you know, being held or showing vulnerability like a baby or just, you know, the needs of, of, of a baby or being pampered, being comforted. It's not something that you're used to or were allowing yourself to receive or ask for. Now it's, it's showing that in March you're invited to take actions that are repeated and that are probably not comfortable, okay? But it seems that this is almost like the magic. This is the magic trick, okay? orphaned. Some of you, maybe you just felt very lonely. You know, what you had manifested was maybe extreme loneliness, okay? Feeling that you're lost in a pattern again and again, creating yourself being more and more on the outside of a group, of society, I don't know if, um, it's interesting, it came up in the fire element, uh, looking at your natal retrogrades. So some of you could be, usually that one reminds me of Pluto retrogrades, being excluded from a group. So some of you may be dealing with purging some of the soul experience of certain unfinished business with a master teacher, Okay. Some of you, if you don't know about those things, like that's in your chart. Um, definitely something you want to learn about yourself. But I feel this is, we're going to see what was the purpose. But in March, you're, you're stepping beyond this, beyond what used to be your regular, like your daily bread. Okay. Ooh, look at this, soulmates. Some of you, you're, 
either attracting or are in alignment between your heart and your mind with this. You could be also supported by a loved one. Clean it up. Okay, there's some there's certain habits for you, earth placement, as far as maybe not showing your vulnerability, not asking for exactly what you need, um, not expressing or not taking action on certain things that are uncomfortable to you. It seems that you're manifesting in March 2024 a lot of cosmic alignment that are helping you to remove some of um, the past repetition of cycles. I, I'm just, because I mentioned the retrograde, I'm feeling that maybe there's some of you with a Saturn retrograde. Maybe some of you, you had to learn really higher lessons from the master teacher of impact. When I do this, this happens. The ripple effect of certain things, consequences, responsibility. doesn't sound like very fun words, but at a soul level, this was something that you wanted to learn. And maybe by having to experience not feeling supported and seeing this manifest in all areas of your life, feeling excluded more and more. But this is shifting because you're seeing this. There's just so much support that is coming through in March for you. Thinker. I love this card because this is a card that um, with the number 44 is very much about realizing that you're here to uh, face your inner wars, your, your own duality. And as you've experienced probably many cycles of a certain duality, you can realize that now you can decide to clean up and just experience its opposite. So some of you, if you've been feeling unsupported or you've been feeling plagued by karma or, you know, just repeating cycles that are not what you want anymore, this is shifting because you, you know momentum. But this is going to come from creating this momentum through doing things that could be feeling uncomfortable. You know, removing certain habits, building new ones. By the way, that's something that, you know, when I was personal training and people were asking me about nutrition and diet or even just committing to exercise, I was like, you cannot remove something without expecting your body to crave it so you need to replace it with something and that means replacing it with something that is supportive that means something positive so you know if some people just had to uh, remove bread or any type of um, you know white flour because it was just giving them reactions to their body it was like don't focus on what you're uh, removing, focus more on like, I get to instead, you know, go for more fruits, go more for full water content, more raw um, food that can make me feel full, feel fulfilled, that are longer to savor instead of like something fast, immediate, okay? So something, uh, maybe I'm, uh, I'm going to start being um, spending more time in the kitchen, cooking, taking time to cut, you know, my vegetables. You know, I, I, I know it's, I, I don't know why I'm <laughs> channeling this, this example, but there's something about, you know, instead of focusing on the things that you're, you, you were doing, that did this or that, that made you feel like this or that, focus more on the greatness of the new habits, and that's going to require you to think differently, to look at things differently. But there's definitely with this month of March, there is a spring cleaning effect. This is the end of a zodiac wheel. We have the end of Pisces and the beginning of Aries. So this is a this is a jump. This is you, you know, going into a different direction, and it comes from 
holding your own hand, holding yourself, maybe also accountable, holding yourself towards, you know, a certain direction and saying like, this is where I want to see myself in a year. Okay, this is where I'm going and seeing how can I progress. So some of you, you know, we usually do those uh, new resolution at the end of the year, the calendar year, but energetically, as an astrologer, you know, it's, this is more this time that is where we take new resolution because there is an end, a new beginning in terms of um, the light work, shadow work that we're doing in terms of enlightenment. And with this lunar eclipse, you're definitely going to have a lot of things because it's in Libra that are going to be removed as far as your relationship to things, people, you know, your relationships. And this is also uh, working on the relationship between the ego, the lower self, and the higher self. Now, some of you may be being able to listen to the higher guidance of your higher self without, you know, the ego trying to struggle and hold on to the old. You have a lot of support here if you are an earth sun or earth rising sign. That's wonderful. Let's see if we have some more messages for you. All right. In terms of frequencies, if you are a YouTube member, definitely go and check out the Saturn uh, frequency. Otherwise, tap into the moon, the moon frequency, the sun frequency. It helps with the third eye. The sun is connected to the front of your third eye and the moon from the back. Just play the frequency, read the guidance about if you want to chant or not. But I would say that even just like journaling or thinking or um, setting up new goals with those frequencies can help you. All right, let's see if we have another message. I feel they could be here. All right, mm, unfinished symphony. And to the sea. I feel as some of you, um, that's my card usually for some of the natal retrogrades and giving yourself a second chance on changing the music, you know, changing the patterns, changing the repetition. And here to the sea, there's something about surrendering. So I feel that surrendering, especially with the number seven, Seven is about introspection. This is connected also to the zodiac in terms of patience, endurance. So some of you being patient with yourself, allowing yourself to change daily, take daily baby steps. Baby steps is important. You're going to manifest in greater ways if you really take the time in March to do those little steps. Okay, and this is where it lands you. You're going to find within the value, the value of probably your path. Some of you, if you've been lacking purpose or not understanding uh, your own reasoning through those daily steps in March, it's almost like March 1st, you know, until the end, 31st maybe journal every day and I'll bet you you're starting to every day see more and more and clearer and clearer especially with the third eye your inner sight is going to open up open up and you're starting to unveil the confusion and start seeing more clearly your goal your purpose and your own worth that's what I have for you, my dear Earth Placement, Sun or Rising. I trust this supported you. If you need personal guidance, I would say here more of the natal chart. Definitely uh, would align most if you need personal um, deepening, deep diving. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you are an Air, Sun or Rising Placement. So natally, if you are a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius sun or rising, those messages are for you for March 2024. So let's see what we have. Beautiful energy with this moon, especially for you. The new moon and the eclipse could be of the essence, 
March 10th, we have the new moon in Pisces. March 25th, the full moon and lunar eclipse in Libra. I feel this energy here of something new being born in March 2024. If you have an air, sun or rising placement. Something, it's like there was a lot of third eye activation, but I feel like for you, there's something that was deeply connected to your heart. Maybe there's an unlocking of the throat, an unlocking of the inner sight through the month of March. Some things are being removed to create like this. I can feel it like um. You know what? It's almost like your heart is going to tap into the fourth dimensional field. Like a crystal heart activation. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're curious if it rose your antennas, okay, uh, go and check that out. There's something in your intuition that is becoming keener. You see, it's almost like she can see through her third eye. There's just so much depth. Okay, let's read behind. Kaladara. When hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Kali's love will find a way. If the path does not exist yet, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, Kali's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. Interesting. Creating a new way. There's a new way. Such a... There's, it, there's, it feels like queen-king energy. It almost feels like you're, what's meant to be born out of you is like a sacred, it's so authentic that it almost like it, it imposes by its energy, its field, respect. Not in a way that like there's no like fear behind this, like okay, like we are fearing you, so we respect you. Not at all. It's more like, wow, this person's wisdom intrigues me, and I'm going to listen. There's something about listening also. Mm, interesting there. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Mm, self love. Let's see what it says. Wow, I'm, I cannot make this up, you guys. <laughs> Listen to this. My heart is open. <laughs> I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself and I love others and others love me. Told you. Like, wow. It's that's what the energy like the respect is almost like when you respect yourself, when you treat yourself with love and kindness, there is this glow when you enter. I could feel it happen when I was just looking at the cards without reading anything. I was just reading the energy. This is where you're going in March. Water point personality, the sensitive soul. Wow. But it's so it's coming from you having this sensitivity and being able to honor this sensitivity. With the water point personality here, it's almost like you're showing, I'm feeling this, you're showing a crossroad where you're going to really step into this version of yourself that nurtures their vibration, how they feel daily, so they can present and offer a vibration that speaks for itself. You know what it reminds me, my dear air rising or um, sun? 
reminds me my welcome reel on my Instagram, where I state that, you know, I used to feel like a mess. Everything was so chaotic in my mind, in my life, everything. Because I was absorbing everything. But I was seeing that I was trying to make sense out of just my natural ability to feel the mess around me. And then now, from now on, I was just attracting people that could read and connect to my soul. So I had to stop explaining it because I'm not doing this anymore. And I feel this for you. That is so beautiful. I am not a sun or rising air placement, but I do have air like in my, in my fourth dimensional and even fifth dimensional. Uh, but in my 3D, you know, it's... Um, it's not my connection, but I can sense it at a higher level. This is where you're going and you're at a crossroad here. Let's see what it says behind. Peaceful, devoted, and nurturing. Helpful, gentle, and caring. Watch for being self-conscious, though. And seeks acknowledgement and validation. So, yeah, and that reminds me of another reel where I said, <laughs> it used to make me laugh, where uh, it said... You know, uh, validation is for pa parking only. I had to realize that validation was just for parking. I didn't need validation. I love this for you, my air placements, sun and rising. I love this. All right, let's get some more messages. So March, it's a heart opening moment for you. I feel almost like a turning point. Yep. Okay, all right. <laughs> Time for a nap. Okay, I. the way that I'm reading this, it is like you're going to have to, first of all, take time for yourself. One, major, major time for yourself. Protect yourself, you know, um, because even your way to... Um, I feel like some of you need to know, like, you reading the, the room and energies like you're doing all the time, it's taking a lot out of you, okay? And you need to find a way to um, regenerate. So some of you, if you have access to my YouTube membership music, I have a nervous system uh, regeneration. It's, it's great, amazing for power naps. Every time I, I am feeling this, where, you know, I'm tapping into too much energy and it's, it's, it starts to drain instead of supporting me then i tap into this frequency i love it let's see what else because it came with something Ooh, breathe breath work your breath gives you power uh very interesting you guys i will be uh probably in march start to release uh my pharmacy vibrational medicine I do have different techniques of breath work to administer um, a certain effect on the aura, and especially for medicine. So I feel like for some of you, learning about breath work and when you meditate or when you nap, just focusing on your breath, uh, even something as simple as yoga nidra, where you kind of like pinpoint your attention on your body parts and let go. Like I release my forehead, tip of my nose, my lips, my chin, the back of my skull, my neck, my shoulders. And you go relax, 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 relax. Okay? So I feel as some of you this is the type of things that in March you need so you can start generate an energy field that invites love, respect, kindness because of the daily attention you give to yourself. So some of you, if you've been neglecting yourself, March ain't going to allow you to continue doing this. Okay, and the more you, it doesn't need to take long, but it needs your conscious attention. And that means that when you decide to give yourself 10 minutes, that's enough. 
I had developed at some point I was like really um, developing like you know like almost like uh, Navy SEALs and Marines I was very much into this those type of techniques and how to tune in the brain waves and and the body I was able to put myself into this type of frequency where I was regenerating and tell myself I wake up in three minutes and it would give me the effect of 20. It took me a year, okay? So just, you know, it's not a bragging thing. I can't do it right now at the same level. But with that frequency, it's 15 minutes. I get it every single time because I know the sound engineering to do that. Before I had to find it, you know, in different ways, which took me a while. Um, so, yes, yeah, so some of you, if that's something that you want to learn, that's great. I do have a video tutorial in my album called Your True Abundant Nature. There's a video link to a tutorial that explains about breath work. So, some of you, there's something in there that can help you. All right, let's see what else blessed oh yes yes you are blessed as some of you in march 2024 there's a lot of blessings coming your way especially if you are more attentive to your self-care to your nurture to how you take the time to respond to breathe you know it's like don't feel rushed any type of rush will lead you to feeling drained to feeling like you didn't give your best or that and it's a lesson. You're being initiated to do more, not from doing action more, but from being more. I know it feels like, how is that possible, Audrey? But I'm not supposed to tell you because ultimately this is something you feel your way through. Remember, sensitive soul, you know that way. Oh, I mean, you cannot make that up regeneration you're ending certain cycles of and I'm, I'm going to close my window because there's some landscaping in the background and i feel like it's the background noise hey you know what stay with me stay with me i'm just gonna do this stepping away huh stepping away it seems to be important some of you if there is some type of attention, people, whatever that is trying to bring drama, step away in March, okay? This does not deserve your energy. It's background noise. Let's see if we can get more details about this. Ooh, well, <laughs> see? Okay, interesting. That was a uh, scene in the earth, those two cards together. So some of you, I would say, if you're watching this according to sun or rising, maybe you do have some earth placement. Okay, that could be your sun or rising in addition to the air. <clears throat> maybe it's your moon. Maybe this card also wants to be seen. And think, oh, well, they were part of the earth. Okay, so I feel that... Interesting. Okay. Let me gather this for you. Okay. All right. So I feel that the struggle here could be from the way you're scared to be perceived. My air placement, the sun or rising. Okay, with this. This. And yes, you are very unique. And Yes, you are meant to be unique. If you doubted this and you're still doubting, this is going to drain you. You are meant to take a different path. But this path will only show itself more clearly if you start to take more of those steps that we mentioned before. Your, it's almost a year, especially, oof, I get chills just thinking about it. And I haven't spoken the words. You see here, it's almost like my body is already responding to the, the wisdom that I'm being called to feel and express. It's in your nervous system. 
It's in your bones. It's in you. Your body knows the way. Okay. It, it, but it needs the space, especially it needs the space to feel itself without the influence of others. And that could be something that is hard because you could be with all this I'm feeling from the beginning, you could be very involved with people. Okay, so let's see how we're going to uh, clear that a little bit. Not because we need to clear people, even though it could be the case uh, for some of you. How can we... <sighs> yeah, I'm hearing a lot of... Okay, th those this, I think, came up for everyone. Unfinished Symphony. This is my card for the retrogrades in someone's charts. Okay, because this is what I explain to clients. When you are born with a natal retrograde, there was an unfinished business symphony. There's something that did not click. So some of you, especially with the thinker, you're going to want to listen. You're going to want to look at your chart and look at what planet could be in retrograde. Now, what's very interesting is that I discovered, I started to look at the ephemeris of when I was born, the end of 1978. And I realized that I had seen this in a pattern, that I was under a lot of influence from what I have seen in my clients with natal mercury retrogrades, that the way I was relating to computers or, or this energy in general felt as if I had a natal mercury retrograde. So it made me curious. And I saw that I was born in the shadow of just before Mercury retrograde, but really close to it. Five days later, Mercury was retrograde. Which, interestingly, when you project in the perfection wheel and shows you in your life when this retrograde is going to impact you, Around five and six years old, that's where it was going to impact me. I started being confronted with the karma of an unfinished business of Mercury retrograde, which is about lies and betrayals. I was involved in my parents' divorce and lies and betrayals. And I thought that was very interesting because as an infant, that shift of the planet in retrograde I felt it as an infant, as a baby, in my body, in my field, and it was going to later show itself, okay? And I've had a couple of others, Jupiter, Saturn, okay? Um, so some of you, that could be something that needs to be known, that needs to be revealed. I do have an album called Awakening the Stars Within, that has all the planets, so you can listen to it. It's part of the YouTube membership, but you do have the sun and the moon. And because of this here, and because of the moon here, and all of this, even if you don't want to get access right away, you can try with the moon first, because remember, there's a lunar eclipse, and there's something that you're not seeing that needs to be removed, okay? Because we we're trying to figure that out for you. Let's see your last card. Hmm. Why? You see here, knowledge, and I mentioned for you, like, uh, <laughs> Mercury in particular. Some of you, if you have a natal Mercury retrograde, definitely pay attention. Uh, especially towards the end, if I'm not mistaken, yes, April 1st, 2024, we are in Mercury retrograde. Okay, and that means we're going to be in the shadow of this retrograde energy. So there's something here that you have to learn. And I think this is learn about yourself in relationship to others, especially that this lunar eclipse is going to be in Libra, which is seventh house energy, which is relationships. There's something that is particular to you and that is going to be revealed for this time, but you're going to harness so much more power, but it's going to be magnetic. It's something that you need to harness from within and 
impose with your vibration. And I love what I felt for you because this almost like this is the this is almost like it feels like the the type of leadership we need now in this world. Not about success material. It's about the leadership over the heart and mind together. So we're just navigating life in such greater way. You know, it's almost like, yes, I am a feeler. Yes, I am sensitive. And I want to be because that's how I know how to navigate life in greater ways than people that are so grounded in the rational of this life. This, this, this magic, this magic and blessings that are coming for you in March for this process. If you need personal guidance here, um, definitely charts. Uh, knowing your natal chart, knowing how your chart progresses. If you have any questions, you can always email me if you don't know. Um, maybe consultations here could be a greater of use. Thank you so very much. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste.